Unit 71. Countable nouns with a or an and some. Countable nouns can be singular or plural. For example, we have a dog is singular and dogs is plural. We don't use the word dog alone if it is singular. We are supposed to use an article that is indefinite or definite. Here we speak about indefinite article, a, we say a dog, we don't say dog. When it is plural, we don't use the article a or an because it is for singular. Here we are speaking about plural and here dogs is a plural and that is general. That's why we don't use article at all. Another example is child. We don't say child, so we are sub. It, child is one one child, and so we say a child. We can't say child without the, without an article. We are supposed to use a before child because a child is singular. When it is a plural, we say children. And to limit the number, we say some children. But we don't use the article A with the plural. Another example, we have evening. We say the evening. The evening. Evening here is one single evening. And the specific evening, that's why we use the article the. Evenings is the plural here. And as specific e evenings, definite evenings, so we use the article the. Party, here, party is one single party, so we can say this party, this is demonstrative pronoun for singular. And if it is a plural, we say parties, and we use these, these is used for plural. Umbrella, the last example is um, an umbrella. Umbrella is singular one. That's why we use the article an and it, because it starts with the vowel u. That's why we say an umbrella. On the other hand, two umbrellas, it is the plural here, so we don't use the article an because it is plural. So we can say that we use indefinite article or definite article a or an or the for singular and for plural we don't use uh, the singular article a or an we can use the for the plural if it is specific and we can use numbers as well before Singular countable nouns, you can use a or an. Here is the conclusion. Uh, goodbye, I have a nice evening. Evening here is singular, that's why we use the article a. Though evening starts with e, we don't use the article an because the article a is, is controlled with the first letter after it here the first letter is nice n the n in the word nice and the n is consonant that's why we use the article a if it is evening alone then then we say an evening uh, do you need an umbrella Umbrella here starts with the vowel U. That's why we use the article an. And it is a singular. It is a singular umbrella. That's why we use the article an. You cannot use singular countable nouns alone without a or the or my. Don't or never use singular countable nouns without articles, whether it is in definite article a or an or definite article the or position my 
she never wears a hat. We don't say she never, she never wears a hat. We say she never wears a hat because hat is singular. That it, that's why it, it must take an article. If it is indefinite, then we use the article a. Be careful of the dog. Here it is a specific dog. It is singular. That's why we are supposed to use an article, whether we use a or an or the. Here, because it is a specific dog, a certain dog, we use the article the. But we don't say be careful of dog. What a beautiful day. Day here is singular. That's why we use the article a. And the a is followed by the letter b. And b is a consonant sound. That's why we use a, not an. I have got a headache. Headache starts with the article. With the article. Uh, Headache starts with the uh, with the letter H, and the H here is a consonant. That's why we use the article A. Someone may say that headache, headache is uncountable. No, we speak about a headache here as as a symptom of one of the diseases, one of the symptoms, and we can count the symptoms of diseases. What we say, Arab. In Arabic. We use a or an to say what kind of thing or person something or somebody is. Means we give a certain adjective to the noun. Before the adjective we use the article. So the adjective comes between the noun and its article. That is a nice table. We can say that is a table. If we want to give it an adjective, nice, then we say a nice table. Table. It comes between the article A and the noun table. In the plural, we use the noun alone. So we don't use articles. Those are nice chairs. Chairs are plural. So we, we give the adjective for chairs without any article. So we say those are nice chairs. We don't use article. Compare singular and the plural. Here we have certain examples to, to compare between singular and the plural. First one, a dog is an animal, the species animal. So if we speak about, about a dog, then it is one dog, a dog. So we say it is an animal, species. It is Singular, so we say an animal. If we say dogs, they are plural, so we say they are or dogs are animals. We don't use any article because dogs are plural and animals are plural. I am an optimist. Optimist refers to one person and here it is singular. So we use an because it starts or it begins with the letter O, a vowel. We are optimists, optimists plural. So we plural and optimists are plural. So we don't use any article because here it is plural. So we don't use the article A or an. Tim's father is a doctor. Doctor, if we speak about the job of a person, 
then we use the article A or N. Tim's father is a doctor. He works as a doctor. So doctor is singular. So we use the article A. Most of my friends are students. Students here, their job is that they are students. So we don't use any article because it is plural. Are you a good driver? A driver here is the job. And we used an adjective. We used an adjective between the job and the article. It is a single driver. So we say a driver. It is singular. So and we use God and God starts with consonants G. That's why we use the article A not N. Are they good students? Here students are plural. So we don't use articles. So we add the adjective alone without any article. Jill is a really nice person. Person here is singular. So we use the article A. Nice is an adjective and really is an adverb. The, the article A is controlled by the first sound after it. Here the first sound is the R letter in really. That's why we use the article A. Jill's parents are really nice people. People is a plural. So we don't use the article A or an. So we add the adjective and the adverb before people, before the noun without any article because it is plural what a lovely dress a dress here is singular that's why we use the article a and lovely is adjective what awful shoes shoes is plural that's why we did not use any article with the adjective awful we say that somebody has a long nose. Nose here is singular, that's why we use the word, the article A. A nice face, face is singular, we use the article A. Blue eyes, eyes are plural, that's why we don't use any article here. Small hands, hands are plural, so we don't use any articles. We have here singular and plural nouns preceded by adjectives or singular and the plural nouns comes after adjectives. Before the adjective, if, it is sing if the noun is singular, then we use article A or an before the adjective. If the noun is plural, we don't use any article before the adjective. Jack has got a long nose. Her nose is singular, that's we use the article A. Jack has got blue eyes. Eyes are plural. That's why we don't use any article. We just put the adjective alone. Remember to use a or an when you say what somebody's job is. When you speak about the job, use a, the article a or an, as it is singular. Sandra is a nurse. You don't say Sandra is nurse. Say Sandra is a nurse. Here it is singular. One singular nurse. Would you like to be an English teacher? Teacher is singular. That's why we use the article an. An here is used because it is followed by the letter E in English. If we want to say a teacher, one single teacher, we say a teacher. But if we use the adjective English before teacher, then we must change the article A into N because what is the first letter that comes after N? It is E. E is a vowel and vowel is preceded by the article N, not A. You can use some with the plural countable nouns. Uh, we use some in two ways. We have two ways for using some with the plural countable nouns. 
Some means it can mean a number of or a few of or a pair of. <coughs> if it is countable, then it means a number of, a few of, a pair of. A number of is countable. A few of is countable. A pair of is countable. I have seen some good films recently. Not I have seen good films. Here, to limit the number, we say some good films. Means a number of good films. Some friends of mine are coming to stay at the weekend. To limit the number of friends, we use some. We say some friends means a few of friends or a number of friends. I need some new sunglasses. Here I, me I need a new pair of glasses. Some means bear of. Here some means bear of. Some new glasses. Don't use some when you are talking about things in general. When you speak about things in general, we don't use the words, the word some. Because we generalize, not limit. I love bananas in general. I don't love some bananas and leave others. No. I love bananas in general. When you generalize, don't use articles. We say, I love bananas in general. My aunt is a writer. She writes books. Books in general. Sometimes you can make sentences with or without some. With no difference in meaning. Sometimes using some doesn't make any difference in meaning. Suppose somebody asks about certain eggs, about eggs, and you say there are eggs in the fridge if you are hungry, or there are some eggs in the fridge if you are hungry. Certainly the person will take some eggs. If, if you say there are eggs, he will go and choose some of them. He will not take all the eggs, or she will not take all the eggs. So, using some or not using doesn't make any difference here. So, you say there are some eggs or there are eggs. Number two. Some but not all. Some here is used for limitation. To limit the number. To limit the number. Some children learn very quickly. We don't speak about all children. We speak about a part of the children some of the children so we say some children learn very quickly not all children tomorrow there will be rain in some places rain in some places we we don't say there will be rain in places places in general everywhere it will be certainly it will be in some places to limit the places but most of the country will be dry on the other hand thank you that's all